Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zonkey, and welcome to Road to Max Cape, the final one, the final one in this series. Uh, the next episode in this series will be titled something different, most likely Road to Completionist Cape. But anyway, um, I do have some levels to show you guys. I will admit that I am now one level off of Max Cape, so I'm extremely close. I'm getting there. Um, I have about 1.2 mil more fishing XP to go and then I will have the max cape. So anyway, I do have all the clips of last last episode and all the levels I got between last episode and this episode. So um, I am very, very close to max cape. I will most likely get that within a couple days. Um, try to just grind out this fishing as fast as possible, and that should be fun. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the levels and my progress so far, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get this max cape done with soon. Okay, so now we get to go into all the levels that I have achieved. I almost said this week, not really this week, because it's been a little more than a week since I last uploaded one of these, but as I was training a lot of really slow skills, I guess you guys can forgive me for that. Uh, anyway, that first level was 95 rune crafting, and I actually, I was telling myself I am not going to leave rune span until I got 99 rune crafting. And I left it a little bit before I got 99 rune crafting, but you'll see why. But the vast majority of the XP, I was able to just stay in rune spam. Unfortunately, I didn't miss out on doing my daily farm runs. Uh, this is just a screenshot because I was retarded and did not get the recorder up in time. I actually got the level first, but there's 97 rune crafting. But surprisingly, even though I missed out on farm runs and daily DG challenges, I still was able to keep myself in rune spam all the way from well 95 to 99 um, I'm not exactly sure how I was able to do that but I I managed to achieve it and there's 98 room crafting and I guess everyone can probably can probably tell pretty well what level is going to come next um, I just turned in my challenge here because I did have a rune span challenge and guess what there is the 99 room crafting so that means I only had one skill left for 99 to get the max cape and uh, yeah that skill is what I start training after rune crafting clearly um, I was doing my fish flingers games. I did get a uh, a nice tackle box that I will have a clip of in just a second here after the level ups are done. Um, I got the next tackle box from the fish flingers, so that was pretty cool. And then I got 96 fishing, and um, this was not a fishing level. This is actually a dungeoneering level, but I managed to get 104 dungeoneering as well just off of a daily challenge, so that was pretty cool. Uh, dungeoneering levels always help. Of course, I do need them for the completionist cape. Um, and unfortunately, those fish flinger tickets did run out pretty fast, so I had to um, stick to C2 fishing while I was doing the fish flingers. I was doing barbarian fishing while the fish flingers games were not going on, and then um, I would run up and do a game of fish flingers, so that was pretty good. And then this level is what I got just a few minutes ago, 98 fishing, so only one more level to go. I'm pretty excited for that. Um, should get 99 fishing pretty soon here, and the max cape as well, so get pumped! Oh, and I did have this last one thing that I wanted to put in here really quickly. I know it's not either a max cape or a completionist cape requirement, but I did get the pro tackle box, which is a lot of fish flinger games. Um, so, yeah, I only have that champion's tackle box to go, which is obviously for the trim completionist cape that I'll never get, but I did get the pro one, so that's pretty cool. So, this is the part of the show where we uh, calculate what is left towards the max cape using the calculator, as always, link down in the description. And um, it says here that I'm 99.63% to the max cape, so yeah, extremely close as you can see. Uh, the only skill I have left is one fishing level, so I should be able to get that within a couple days. It shouldn't be too difficult to do, but um, that's all I have left to the max cape. That is it, nothing else. And um, as I said last week, I will be tracking my XP between episodes of the Road to Max Cape, or soon to become the Road to Completionist Cape. So if we do look down here... Since the last episode, I gained over 5 million runecrafting XP and uh, over 3 million fishing XP. So quite a bit of XP there, um, all just going towards busting out these 99s to the max cape. Also a little bit of wood cutting, um, a little bit of defense, not really sure how I got those. Um, and then dungeoneering as well, just from doing the daily challenges as always, and a bit of farming. Um, unfortunately, while I was training runecrafting, I was not able to do my da daily dungeoneering challenges and um, I was also not able to do my daily farm runs, so because of that, um, well, if I wasn't, if I did not determine to not leave rune span while getting 99 rune crafting, I would have had more farming, more dungeoneering XP, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, 
Um, we can go into here also and calculate the completionist cape. So I'm only 80% to the completionist cape. Um, I don't believe that livid farm, the time it takes to livid farm, is uh, calculated into the percentage, but I could be wrong about that. Pretty sure it's not. So for completionist cape, um, just the one fishing level and then a ton of dungeoneering. Apparently I'm only 21% to um, 120 dungeoneering, which is okay because uh, once you really start going in dungeoneering and training hard, um, it goes by very, very fast. It's quite easy to get a couple mil XP per day. Um, and I definitely will be getting that as soon as I max out. I'll be going straight on to Dungeoneering. And then as soon as I'm done with Dungeoneering, I don't know, Livid Farm. Um, not sure how that's going to go. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope you're all looking forward to uh, me getting the Max Cape and being able to Dungeoneer. I know I sure am because, in my opinion, Dungeoneering is way more fun than uh, fishing. But that's just me. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned to the next episode, which will have a different title of the series. It will be the com Road to Completionist Cape and no longer the Road to the Max Cape. So this is the last episode. It's kind of sad to see the series go because I started the series a year ago. Um, a year ago, I had kind of aspirations to get the Max Cape. I wasn't sure if I really would or not because it seemed just so far away. Um, and now we're actually almost here an entire year later. So uh, yeah, it's just crazy. Anyway, that's about all for this video. Uh, check out the calculator. Link is in the description if you want. And farewell.